as often off to my right is a graphic, a very simplified graphic. What the graphic is representing here is basically reversal of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in regard to an animal model. So let's emphasize that once again. This has not been conducted in humans as of yet. This, this drug has not been tested in humans in reference to idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Now the drug, which we're referring to, if you look at the graphic here, otherwise known as ABT199, is known as venetoclax. V is in Victor, E, N is Nancy, E, T is in Tom, O, C, L, A, X, which has been approved already by the Food and Drug Administration for use in leukemia. But not necessarily yet in regard to idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Now, this is a continuation of our promise back from November 2017 where we ran our first uh, study reference in regard to RAGE which they showed that low, uh, basically idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, lung fibrosis, had the potential to be reversed. And now, here we come to basically September 2021, and this is reiterated again, in this case, the new venue, with even more of a detailed approach on how this may actually be doing exactly what it's doing. Now, many individuals with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which we made this promise to back in 2017 to look out for basic and potential treatments, we are continuing today, but they are in a desperate race against time. And so we are going to review the medication per se. It doesn't mean there's not nutritional therapies that may help assist or whatever. But however, though, in this case, we want to stick strictly with the outcome and not veer from that course. And that outcome is ABT199 in an animal model reversing collagen deposition within 21 days. So now let's basically lose state a little bit greater into the study itself. And hopefully we can push forward with human trials. That is the objective basically to see that this is here and it's now, and that it has a strong potential if we move it forward. So let us begin. All right. Reversal of lung fibrosis and mouse model suggests a novel therapeutic target for pulmonary fibrosis. Start with the summary. Researchers have reversed lung fibrosis in a mouse model of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Mice were given bleomycin, which damaged the lungs, for 12 days to establish lung fibrosis, and then treated daily until 21 days with ABT199, whose medical form is known as venetoclax. Venetoclax, a medication approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration for use in several forms of leukemia. Controlled bleomycin mice had lung fibrosis with widespread collagen deposition. The bleomycin mice that received ABT199, venetoclax, had normal lung architecture at 21 days and no collagen deposition. The results suggest a novel therapeutic target to reverse fibrotic model remodeling in the lungs. That is just amazing. Now let's go a little bit further into the study itself. And then I want to give you reference to the full study and the dosaging that used in the animal model. And that could possibly help medical practitioners move this forward to proceed. Importantly, Carter and colleagues found that mice with a conditional deletion of BCL2 in lung macro macrophages, macrophages, phages, were protected from pulmonary fibrosis in the bleomycin model. And they were also protected from asbestos induced lung fibrosis. These conditional deletions results set the stage for the experiment showing that the BCL2 inhibitor, ABT199, venetoclax, was able to reverse fibrosis in the mouse bleomycin model. Furthermore, ABT199 completely blocked, as you go into the study, it will enlighten you a little further in regard to what this is. It's a little technical, so I want to just take this excerpt. CBT1A, BCL2, interaction. In additional genetic evidence, fibrosis was also reversed by the conditional deletion of BCL2 in mice with established fibrosis. Not resistant, not prevented, but in this case, reversed the fibrosis in the animal model. Quote, taken together, these observations suggest, suggest that the fatty oxidation provokes apoptosis resistance, apoptosis, 
through the stabilization of BCL2 in the mitochondria by binding to CPA, CPT1A, Carter said. Moreover, these data demonstrate that minocyte-derived macrophages, macrophages are required by fibrosis progression. So what happened was they decided to go off course with a normal dogma in reference to basically lung fibrosis. And they just decided to just take a chance. And that was the moment that goes, oh, that is odd, which yielded this incredible, incredible discovery in reference to venetoclox, clocks, or in this case, ABT-199. Proceed. And they suggest a novel therapeutic target to prevent progressive aberrant fibrotic remodeling. Now we go to the full study. Again, this is more for other medical professionals, researchers, and so on and so forth. This is the dosaging that they use. Mice were administered ABT199 or vehicle at 50 milligrams a kilogram via oral gavage daily through day 21. That is just incredible. So the beautiful part about this is opposed to the prior studies or research that we looked at prior was that basically this is a medication that is already approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of certain types of leukemia, which should make it a real easy segue into basically going into human clinical trials to further uh, basically elucidate the benefits of this venetoclax in people that may have idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. If this works, it's there, the people that need it are there, and there's very few actual tangible treatments that have been known to reverse this collagen deposition then just let's see it proceed forward. What an incredible, incredible thing. And I will continue my promise to those individuals with lung fibrosis as data arises, that may be of uh, great promise to helping individuals overcome this ailment. I'll be there and continue to produce the videos as they come along. Again, great, great, great promise. Venito Clax, V is in Victor, E, N is Nancy, E, T is in Tom, O C L A X. I just wanted to spell it once more for you. And again, just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing for human trials and see if the outcome in human trials mimics the miraculous achievement, at least in regard to the animal model itself. Gratitude. Thank you. Gratitude to the researchers for basically taking a chance with this discovery. Phenomenal. And as always, always very humbled that you watch. Catch you next time. Okay. Well, I'll see you then. See you back. Bye.